on this episode of The Impossible Pitch. Meet Lucas Farakides. At just 18 years of age, Lucas is here to pitch a startup idea called Lean Start, a startup accelerator for high school students. Lucas was the first to be chosen by our viewers, and he will now face the investors with his own impossible pitch. Hello, my name is Lucas. I am 18 years old and a high school student. And I still remember myself two years ago when I was working hard in the gym and I realized we waste so much kinetic and heat energy that could be potentially turned into electrical energy. And I wanted to build a device that would do exactly this task. Although I didn't have the right resources, neither the right people around me in order to actually pursue it. And for this reason, I attended startup accelerators in London and the last summer I was working at Harvard University during the summer time to actually build it. After six weeks, I managed to have a fully successfully working prototype. Although after all this traveling and my two years experience in the entrepreneurial world, I realized I am not the only one teenager with great ideas that does not have the right resources and people around them to influence them and start their companies. For this reason, I decided to create a summer school program to aspire entrepreneurs who are young in order to actually build their companies and fulfill their dreams called LeanStart. LeanStart is a seven days startup academy that will run at the end of June 2017 with an expected fee of 395 euros. We will invite 50 students that will have the opportunity to individually pitch their ideas, form teams and validate through market research. Although to make something that big, we had to bring the best of the best. And LeanStart's mentors are coming from Harvard, MIT, LSE, TEDx coaches, internationally recognized influential teenagers, and academias with expertise in business and entrepreneurship. Also, our students will have the opportunity to pitch on the seventh day, the so-called pitch day, in front of um, the mentors of LeanStart, and also some external supporters for some more information on how to proceed with their ideas even after the program. Also, we have designed modules which will be taught in the duration of the program to ensure that our students will not just succeed in a business competition, but in the real startup world where it really matters. For example, some of the modules are public speaking, teamwork, resilience, leadership, and uh, internal communications. And I am here to individually ask each of you for 5,000 euros of support from each of you in order to actually build a better ecosystem for young entrepreneurs, inspire, give the right knowledge, and motivate our <laughs> students in order to actually succeed. I hope you give a chance to the younger generation show what they can prove. Thank you. Um, Look, do you, um, I mean, I understand that uh, Lean Start depends a lot on the mentors that you mentioned will be coming from abroad. Do you have their commitment um, for how many years? I mean, how do you know that they will be able to come and over and over again to make this? We have the commitment for the first year. Okay. So we'll do a, this is a pilot testing mm -hmm. and later we can expand in more cities and more countries and make it like a, an every year event for summer. Luca, I love your passion. You're a young kid, you're just 18 years old. You've just, you're at, not even at the beginning of your career. You're, uh, uh, we, we, what you're trying to do is excellent. And I do agree with you that the ecosystem of Cyprus, the uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem of Cyprus needs to be developed. And there's a lot of uh, work to be done then, there. Uh, but seven days, what do you think about that? Is it, do you actually believe that those seven days will be enough? 
I totally agree with you, but I would try to start our students from something because it's better to have a seven days experience instead of nothing. Well, this is great. And I want to congratulate you because uh, what you're doing is what this country needs right now. Uh, there's a lot of people that are looking for security instead of starting their own businesses. And uh, this is the kinds of, uh, you know, initiatives that we need in this country to change the mode of security and going into entrepreneurship and so on and so forth. Uh, so in that sense, I think what you're doing is great. Um, but uh, as a business idea, I think it lacks. I think commercially, you're going to have trouble making money out of it. Uh, for that reason, I'm willing to invest in your idea. But, you know, go on. I mean, do something. It's, it's fantastic. Luga, 60 applications in this reality show. 60 teams with variable degrees of experience. You progressed and you were in the three teams where the people voted. You came first from those three teams and you are a finalist. Impressive. I would advise you, I would advise you to put this into the curriculum of uh, the high school, uh, the public uh, educational system as uh, in recent ratings, Cyprus was last. And with people like you, uh, with the initiative that you are making, I, I really think that you can put a very practical angle in, in our system. So it's very well thought of. I admire the fact that you took the courage to be here. Um, your friends and family and school should be very proud of you. And what I want is for you to become an example for teenagers to dare to dream and dare to go after their dreams like you're doing right now. So I definitely want to encourage that and I will help you in any way and I don't think money is what you need right now. You need different services to make this work and I will definitely give you the services. I'm here for you also. In the same, I'll uh, strategize with Vaso, with Vaso uh, help you carry this forward, because you need to carry this forward. Let's make sure uh, this happens. Luca, I agree with, with what Theo said and, and Vaso. Uh, and it's impressive what you've done. And you, as Theo said, we had six applications and you were, you were one of those who stand out. But I also disagree with them. And that I'm here to do business. And I don't see business here with you. Well done, Lugam. Okay. Well done. And don't forget me with the other idea. <laughs> <I did>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Listen, he, but it's good to turn him into an example for teenagers. I mean, exactly, yeah. I think most of the teenagers, you know, they're, you know, they're just well, we, uh, concerned about, you know, their teenage life. So it's great to have people like Lucas. It's great and to have I want to encourage him. I, I, I know what you're saying. It's not a business. It's not a fundable idea, really. Vaso and I will help him strategize and see how strategize see how he will carry this forward at the same time i will uh, i will have a word with uh, Kostandos petridis who i know to be very supportive of uh, of these uh, okay. ideas Good point. Uh, um, and see how how the government can help and well uh, listen if this could be part of the curriculum in high school and have like an entrepreneurship week yeah that, that's perfect that would be I mean, it's yes, practical that's perfect. It comes I, from i'd one love of my the... kids to go through that uh, yeah program. absolutely me, my, my, mm -hmm. my, my, yeah. my kids too yeah meanwhile theo gets in touch with costantinos petridis to see if the government could get involved and support this initiative the Bank of Cyprus shows interest in Lucas and Michalis Persianis, 
Haris Pangare, the CEO John Hurikan, joined by Konstantinos Petridis, all meet up with Theo to support the idea of Lean Start and make it work. Oh, look at us. Here we are with uh, all these thought leaders. The thoughts are nice, the words are great. Could you think of something tangible that uh, we could do to help uh, Lucas? Uh... Well, basically we can help you and you can help us actually spreading the idea through schools. Uh, we can arrange a program with the school visits, talking to them, uh, trying to change our culture. But it's other people for cash. <laughs> <laughs> so Lucas, we uh, love the idea of what you're going to do. And we're going to be watching it and we're going to be supporting it in every way. But importantly, sometimes to get a great idea off the ground, you've got to have some cash. So while we're supporting the other uh, teams with real money, we're going to support you with some real money as well. And this is 10,000 euros to get this idea off the ground. And we're sure you're not going to disappoint. Cyprus is going to look forward. In 10 years' time, I'm going to say, remember that guy, Lucas? Do you remember how he got started? This is it. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations.